Hello everyone! After our previous video, many of you wrote a comment that you actually felt tension in your face while doing exercises on your chest. Today we are going to continue with this topic. Can you please tell us why is it happening? Hello everyone from my side. In the previous video we did an exercise with straight arms. And many of you could feel their face muscles during that exercise, so let's see why. To begin with, you need to understand the structure of shoulder belt. It includes shoulder blade, collar bones, and bones of your arm. But the only thing it's attached to your body with is the collar bone, which is connected to your chest, and that's it. The rest is being attached with just muscles, which allows our arms to have high mobility. The big muscle of your chest with one end is attached to your collar bone and with the other one to your shoulder. At the same time, sternocleidomastoid muscle is being attached to your collar bone as well as platysma that is attached to the muscles of your face with one end. Yes, exactly. And on your face there are so many tiny muscles and they are so closely connected to each other that contraction in one muscle is being transmitted to the next ones. When muscles are over contracted, they get fibrosis tissue on top of them. And they always have two places of attachment, so you need to make sure that you loosen both of them. And that's why while you're doing the exercise on one particular muscle, you may feel that it gets more and more painful in other places as well. It doesn't have to be pain, it can also be tension or contraction. And today we're going to work on this chain, making sure that the exercise for your chest does not influence your face anymore. But before we begin, make sure that all the exercises you do, you do very gently and slowly. Don't let it be extremely painful to your body. Better do it slowly but regularly. And we're going to start off with all the exercises we did in the previous video, with working on the back and side of our neck and the chest. After you're done with the exercises, move on to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Turn your head to the side and bring it a little bit to the front. Keep the muscle between your fingers and gently and slowly kind of move it side to side. Working from the place of its attachment all the way down to the collarbone. Make sure that you do it very gently and slowly. And repeat the same thing on the other side. With this you will warm up the muscle and increase its mobility. Next, we are going to work on scalene muscles, which are located between your trapezius and sternocleidomastoid muscle. Slowly and gently turn your head to the side and massage this area that is shaped as a triangle. If you can hear that this area is a little bit crunchy, it means that your muscle tissue is being replaced with connective tissue. Repeating the same thing on the other side. You should put just as much pressure as it's comfortable for you. Don't make it painful. And now, working on our chest. For that, form your hand into a fist so that your thumb would be on top and standing out. And you're going to work through your chest with that exact thumb because it's usual to have a lot of cramps in this area. It is happening mainly because the whole big chest muscle forms a lot of fascia and this tends to be overly contracted. 
very slowly and carefully. You should work through the whole area of your chest. Moving towards your shoulder and doing exactly the same thing on the other side. Here it should not be painful at all for you. Therefore you can slowly and gradually work through the whole area until you don't feel any pain at all. And we're going to continue working on the neckline. For that, you're going to form a vertical fold, grabbing all the tissues, not only your skin, and softly rolling it to the side. At the beginning, it might be quite hard for you to even grab a fold. It is okay and it's normal, and later on it's gonna be easier for you. Continuing with the same thing on the other side. In this place, there are a lot of different layers, and with time, they start getting connected to each other, which results in interruption of circulation, of blood and lymph. And exactly this exercise helps to restore all the processes. As we are done with this exercise, we are going to move on to the next one, forming a roll horizontally from the collarbone and rolling it down, working through the whole area of your neckline, on the one side and then the other side. Continue doing all of those exercises till your skin gets slightly red and warms up. It's also very important to stay hydrated. You should drink warm water with lemon or herbal teas so that all the toxins that we release through the exercises are being washed out from your body. If you feel a little bit of pain after these exercises, it's normal because you release tension from your cramped muscles. But this feeling of pain is going to decrease with the time if you do the exercises regularly. I also think that those exercises are great. I would add a complex for a beautiful face shape to it. This complex is already on my channel and I'm going to link the video below in the description. I agree, this could be a great addition. Thank you so much Tatiana, we are always happy to see you. I hope that this video was useful for you. If you still have questions after this video, comment them below. I am looking forward to your comments. Subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget clicking the bell in order to be the first one to see our newest video.